The petters are coming to bits as you can see. Cylinder casing, the piston, top of the crankcase, and now it's getting time to take the crank out. What we have noticed though is that we appear to be one, this is the crankcase seal, we appear to be one missing from this side. So uh, Tony will now remove the bearing cap and we'll uh, see what's inside here. Give it to wedge up again. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh. Ah, an oil ring. So that's one off. Oh, at least it's not uh, rotted oh, away because it's had water in the rusty, bottom. Right, not too bad. Free this one there, the one with the, uh, the wedge. Mm. Yeah, I'll do the same. It's loose as well. Good, isn't it? Yeah. Skillful use of a screwdriver and a hammer. Don't mention that. Not as easy as the other one because the dowels will be. That's, well, I think that's also a bit of struggling. We've managed to uh, remove the taper pin that was uh, making it a little bit awkward to get off. So now we can see what's underneath it. Ah. There's the other one. As you can see, somebody's had obviously had it to bits because There's everything's got uh, cloth in there as well. Yes. It's all been oiled up like the big end had this underneath it. Yeah. For some odd reason, there's shims under the bearing caps. Now, right. I shall return when it's time to uh, lift the crank out. So while I've been away, the so and so's have lifted the crank out. As you can see, the bearings are. Uh, be in quite good condition. There's a crank shaft. So we suspect this here, the crankcase seal, has been taken off the other side when they put the crank bank in to make life easier. So somewhere it will be around. Otherwise, uh, somebody's going to have an interesting time making one of those. I'm finished now, we can go on and carry on now. Thank you.